Brent, you got a new toy. You want to tell everybody about it? Yeah, uh, I got a new toy. <laughs> if this helps, I'm pretty sure you'll guess. Today I want to take a few minutes to share with you what we record our videos with. I'm a little distracted, mind you, because I have a naughty puppy today. <laughs> I keep an eye on her, make sure she's not chewing something she shouldn't be. We are on our 142nd, 43rd, I can't remember quite what number we're on right now, but um, we've done all of our videos using three different cameras and we've done some upgrades and Brent will be sharing with you one new toy that we have. The bulk of our, our uh, videos we record on is with the Canon. I find it has the best pictures. It has a good microphone by itself. It, we don't yet have a fuzzy microphone. We would like to get one for some of our outdoor recording because it uh, <laughs> when it's windy, it's just the sound is terrible. Our GoPros. Um, so the bulk of our, our recording is done on the Canon, but we have two GoPros. I first got the Hero 7 Silver. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. I'd never used a GoPro. I'd heard great things about it, um, and I didn't really want to get something too complicated because of functionality and that sort of thing. So I didn't want to spend a ton of money on a camera I wasn't sure how to use. Um, I learned to love it. Um, I've done a lot of recording on walks and it ca basically came like this. Uh, yeah, I've done a lot of recording with the GoPros on walks when we're doing stuff. Um, it's been really fantastic. So basically it came like this with a case. And we bought on Amazon a bunch of um, handles and different things and I didn't really like any of them and they weren't really good quality so uh, one day I went out and I bought just this little handle and he stands up you can use him as a little as a tripod and it's just a really nice grip and he has a telescoping thing too so he just fits right on here um, we mostly have used this GoPro. We've used it for a ton of time-lapse video in the truck and the only thing I complaint I have is where we, we um, where we located the mount. So the GoPro also came with a bunch of mounts like this um, and we haven't mounted too many in too many places. I think the truck is the only one we really got excited about. But in the package of the um, that Brent got on Amazon, there was a body cam strap, but it sat like right here, and it just it, I couldn't tighten it up enough, and I was recording the sky, and it what didn't work very good. So this is a really nice simple camera to use. Did that too tight? And you can put it up here. You can stand it up on on like a counter or something like that. Uh, the other day I recorded on time-lapse what the dogs are up to. Speaking of which, I'm missing a puppy again. Um, I'm going to take a break here and go find Bailey. Bailey has to stay with me now. <laughs> She's being very naughty today. She uh, chewed apart a pill pillowcase the other day. Nope, you're staying here where I can keep an eye on you. Okay, so that is the Hero 7 Silver. Great price on it. It was, uh, I feel like it was a really good purchase. Uh, then I got, you know, interested in, you know, keeping an eye on things and an email they offered me the Hero 9 Black. He's got little retracting um, feet, I guess you could call them, for when you want to mount him onto a holder. I found that the GoPro holder that I got, this one's actually heavier than this one. So if I extend the telescoping arm, it just collapses under the weight of this one. So 
what I did for that and then I had like one holder for two cameras and I was it was getting a little frustrating so I had seen someone else using one of these and I'm like I want one <laughs> so um, I had the opportunity to purchase one and I just got it at Best Buy it wasn't an expensive item it was around fifty dollars so yeah that was Canadian and uh, basically it just clips on here and you can turn these little pieces once you mount it so if you don't like the way you mounted it then uh, you can turn that so the other thing I really like about the Hero 9 ah, come on is it's waterproof. I don't need an external case. Um, we have video footage of this puppy going right underwater when we went um, floating down a river last summer. So, here's that. Don't worry, I'll pull you along. And the other thing that's really awesome is it has batteries you can take out. The Hero 7, no oh, wrong one, I have a cord that I have to plug in. So it only plugs into a USB. I have to take it out of its case and plug it in. Where are you? and then the whole camera is busy being charged. What I love about the Hero 9 is I actually have ta -da, two batteries for my and for my camera and that both I can charge both batteries at the same time. So if we're driving down the road, we have a USB holder. Um, also have a plug-in that has like a block for our phones and I can just plug it in there if I want a fast charge when we're driving but um, having the two batteries is awesome and I'm gonna switch over to one of these cameras so I can talk about the Canon um, I've really enjoyed this one I really like this handle I've actually clipped it onto the rear view mirror and what I did the other day when I was recording the dogs in the bedroom I also had, it was like a nanny cam, I had uh, this one clipped onto the island and it was recording out here and I caught Bailey sitting on the table. Check it out. GoPro Hero 9 is a nice little case. So all my GoPro stuff fits nicely in this case. We also have like all our mounts and stuff like that. So the old GoPro fits in there. Um, I keep the new GoPro kind of out and about where we are. Just for those little photo ops and like the Canon and the GoPro 9 typically just hang out in the on the table and and uh, so if there's something the dogs are doing then I like to just you know film something they're doing especially if they're doing something silly like Bailey is right now what are you doing Bailey Bailey where are you are you on the table Bailey what are you doing how about if you get down Bailey down He's a bit of a going concern today, I'm not going to lie. The Hero 9, it came with like a membership to the GoPro and I can upload stuff to the Go GoPro Cloud and um, it came with a cord that I can actually just plug in the GoPro to the laptop and upload stuff that way. I typically take the disc out and um, just upload it 
from right from the disc all my video and that sort of thing that's enough of the GoPros okay the Canon oh I'm getting drug around here Bailey stop the Canon which we use for most of our recording and you can tell the speaker this is the Hero 9 it's a little bit not as quite as good as the Canon uh, the picture and the wide angle on this I really like and you can tell the difference in the picture compared to the Canon that I was just previously using. So, um, it is just your basic Canon Rebel EOS T7i. And it's your basic camera, really. I haven't really played a ton with the settings. I'm not a professional photographer by any means or a videographer. I sort of learn as I go, just sort of fiddle with the settings here and there and see what it looks like. As you know, if you are following us, last fall we broke the lens that originally came with the camera. Thankfully we had our backup lens, which is a long lens. <laughs> this one is an EFS 55 to 250 millimeters. It's great for shooting things in the different distance. It's good for doing pictures. It's not as good for doing videoing because <laughs> anything that's moving, it just kind of blurs. So for the remainder of our trip, we'd use the GoPro a lot and we use the Canon once in a while. So <laughs> it, it definitely changed the way we were doing our filming. And uh, But I was able to get some pretty great pictures um, of scenery and that sort of thing. No selfies because let's face it and we didn't dare to put it back on top of the tripod especially with the big heavy lens because this thing has some weight <laughs> um, and it really makes the Canon kind of a beast as you kind of guessed we had to replace our lens what I ended up getting was a wide angle zoom it is goes from 10 to 22 millimeters and so far, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it. When we do our recording in the trailer, we can, we don't have to bring the camera right up close, but it gets in like a nice wide area, which means I just have to keep things tidier when we're recording in the in the trailer. So the, the Canon is the one that we do most of our filming with. And when I am taking pictures, and thankfully I did have another lens to go with it. The little case that I purchased when I first got the camera, well, it it fit the Canon with the original lens on it. And I think it was 18 to 55, maybe. And it, it, um, yeah, when it met its demise. So I would, I would keep it in this little case from time to time, but it didn't really fit very well. I didn't choose that one very wisely. So, but it's, it's handy for this. And the Canon, typically we don't put it away. Uh, it kind of lives in the truck with us or on the table. And we take any, every opportunity to film a variety of things, as you've seen. Um, when we're doing our shots inside the RV or some, trying to do shots when we are doing selfies in front of provincial park or national park signs, then we typically will use the tripod. Um, we have one that we've been using. It's a little damaged from when that crashed over in uh, Dawson Creek. So this is the original one that we've been using and I inherited one that my dad had. And my dad's passed away in 2001 so it's been sitting at my mother's house for about 20 years hiding in a closet and the only thing wrong with it is that this handle what makes it a little bit taller so that this piece will go up the little crank has broken off so but it don't think we're gonna need that uh, little part because it sits pretty tall by all by itself <laughs> and it's quite a bit sturdier than uh, our original one so I think we might be swapping that out for the uh, new improved or new to us improved version. The other thing we use while we're recording 
is the monopod and I'm just going to hand it to Brent. So this is the monopod. Uh, it does have three extendable legs. So you can make it actually fairly tall. Miriam doesn't like it like to use it as it's supposed to be like this. She likes to just hold it out. <laughs> well, because most of the time I'm walking and talking. Yeah, and then uh, her arm gets tired. I said, well, just set it down on the ground. Uh, yeah. It's much easier like that. But for the amount that I use it, it's good enough like this. I'll just stand it right on the edge of the counter. Good enough. And on the bottom here, there's a little spike. So if we're on some rough ground, it uh, digs in a little bit so it doesn't slip. Mm -hmm. So it's a good little unit. I like it. I found a storage system for things like our external storage. I found this little item. I guess it could be for like letters or whatever. Um, and it's just got like a bunch of little compartments and I can put the battery charger for the, uh, the Canon and I could put the other charger for the GoPro in there. Right now I've got it in its little case. So it's just kind of a nice little handy item that I can put right up in the cupboard here. Excuse me, Bailey. Oh. It just sits right there up inside the cupboard and I can grab it and or grab items out of it really easily. Yeah, so I thought that was a neat little item. So I'm pretty much done talking about that. We're going to take this outside and Brent is going to uh, show you his new toy. Brent, you got a new toy. You want to tell everybody about it? Yeah, uh, I got a new toy. <laughs> if this helps, I'm pretty sure you'll guess. Haven't figured out how to use it properly. I can fly it. I just don't know how to record video on it yet. We'll get there. We've only just got it. Oh, anyway, there we go. Wrigley is very concerned about it. <laughs> Oh, I lost it. There we are. Had about 150 feet in the air, so should be getting some good shots once I do get the camera working. Oh, good. Pretty sure I just have to pair the phone with the, uh, the Wi-Fi of the drone. Yeah. Don't drop it on the truck, please. <laughs> Wrigley's quite concerned about this thing. What's going on, Riggs? Oh, well, what's going on? A lot better than the last drone that I had. Yeah, well, the last drone was about, was smaller than your phone, so. Yeah, it was. Uh, any light three inch by three inch. Any light breeze, it would just fly away. Well, that's kind of cool. Ta-da! Good job. <laughs> Learning how to fly is the hard part. Yeah. Yeah. All I have to do is uh, figure out how to pair it with my phone, and then I can watch what I'm doing on here. It's got two cameras on it, so. Yeah. Let's see. We've got just a tiny one right on the belly, and then this uh, larger one. It's a 1080p. It's not 4K or anything, but uh, it's the best drone I've ever had. <laughs> It's a good place to start. Absolutely. Yeah.
Well, that is everything we wanted to share with you today. Yeah, give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Don't forget to subscribe. And ring that bell for notifications. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>